Asset or Aerothermodynamic Elastic Structural Systems Environmental Tests was an experimental U.S. space project involving the testing of an unmanned subscale reentry vehicle. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development and Testing. Begun in 1960, ASSET was originally designed to verify the superalloy heat shield of the X-20 dinosaur prior to full-scale manned flights. The vehicle's biconic shape and low delta wing were intended to represent dinosaur's forward nose section, where the aerodynamic heating would be the most intense, in excess of an estimated 2,200 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit at the nose cap. Following the X-20 program's cancellation in December 1963, completed asset vehicles were used in re-entry heating and structural investigations with hopes that data gathered would be useful for the development of future space vehicles, such as the Space Shuttle, built by McDonnell. Each vehicle was launched on a suborbital trajectory from Cape Canaveral's Pad 17B at speeds of up to 6,000 m per second before making a water landing in the South Atlantic near Ascension Island. Originally, a scout launch vehicle had been planned for the tests, but this was changed after a large surplus of Thor and Thor Delta missiles returned from deployment in the United Kingdom became available. Of the six vehicles built, only one was successfully recovered and is currently on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. Topic: <laughs> Flights. Topic Specifications General Characteristics Crew None Length five point seven four feet one point seven five meters Wingspan four point five seven feet one point three nine meters Height two point seven three feet zero eighty three meters Loaded weight one thousand one hundred ninety pounds five hundred forty kilograms Powerplant times hydrogen peroxide reaction control thrusters performance maximum speed Mach 25 range 2,700 miles 4,300 kilometers service ceiling 50 miles 80 kilometers hypersonic L D ratio 1 to 1 topic related content. Topic: Comparable aircraft. Molnia Bor 4. Martin the 10th 23 Prime. Topic: Winged Gemini. In the mid 1960s, McDonnell proposed a variant of the Gemini capsule which retained the original spacecraft's internal subsystems and crew compartment, but dispensed with the tail first ballistic re entry, parachute recovery, and water landing. Instead, the vehicle would be heavily modified externally into an asset like lifting re entry configuration. Post re entry, a pair of stowed swing wings would be deployed, giving the spacecraft sufficient LD to make a piloted glide landing on a concrete runway using a skid type landing gear reinstated from the planned, but cancelled paraglider landing system, much like the Space Shuttle. According to Mark Wade's Encyclopedia Astronautica, the intent seems to have been to field a manned military spaceplane at a minimal cost following the cancellation of the dinosaur program, 